Obviously, the, the police and the military are the status quo preservers. And, uh, you know, I've often, I, I had a film I wanted to make that's done the back burner, which was targeted directly towards security forces of the world. I haven't had a chance to do that one yet. Uh, you want to get people to understand what it means to protect society. Unfortunately, that, that value is quite twisted. Uh, I, I could go on a long tangent on, on military and police, and they have no idea what they're doing because they're so brainwashed and the structure that they support. But if you can get them on your side, wow, imagine. I mean, that's been, the, that's been the, the, the benchmark of every other major revolution, if you will. Not to say that this is really, a, this is not like a physical revolution, but once the military starts to realize what's happening in a given country, if you want to think about it in that context, uh, they've always been the ones who turn things around. I don't agree with that. I don't think the military should exist at all, but at this point in time, yes. Other than that, the scientific community needs to grow up and get social. Uh, I'm nothing but frustrated by the scientists out there. They are at the cusp of what defines progress and their understanding, and I'm more frustrated, frankly, with the scientific community than I am, say, the religious or political community. Because they're serious, they don't have the balls to step up and, 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 and really talk about the implication of what they're describing as it should be applied to the social system. They're terrified of losing their tenure or whatever. And I can understand it, but I wish. I wish they would really start to take a socially conscious view. But maybe two percent of the scientific community actually applies the broader view to improving society. Instead, they just stay in the little world. You know,